started my academic career uh, actually in athletic training. I went to Ohio University in Southeast Ohio and then I went to physical therapy school at Ohio State University in Columbus. Uh, I joined uh, Cincinnati Sports Medicine. They were a group that started uh, the sports medicine program at the University of Cincinnati and then left the university to go into a private setting. And I started with them in 1981 and I've been with that group since then. Uh, my practice now is solely devoted to the knee, uh, simple uh, knee injuries all the way up to very complex uh, knee surgeries. Uh, I work with Frank Noyes, who uh, has done a lot of uh, publishing, a lot of research on the knee, and some of the early work that looked at ACL injuries and how they occurred and what to expect from them. Uh, we've done research as far as anterior cruciate ligament, we've published on the patellofemoral joint, uh, we've published on meniscus repairs, meniscus transplants, and tibial osteotomies. Uh, two uh, talks that I've been asked to give uh, at this International Congress. Uh, the first one was designed to look at uh, an evaluation or examination of biomechanics of the knee. And I chose to present on uh, the adolescent female. Uh, it's where a lot of our research and a lot of our uh, programs have evolved that have looked at injury mechanisms for anterior cruciate ligament with the adolescent female and why they're two to ten times more likely to tear their ACL than uh, their male counterparts. And so we chose that topic uh, in order to highlight uh, our experience with sports injury testing, uh, what tests should be included, uh, and then tomorrow's topic is uh, structured to then review the interventions. You know, looking at what deficiencies that we picked up in our sports injury testing, and then how do we um, how do we intervene to reduce an athlete's risk for that type of an injury? I use electrical stimulation on a daily basis. I believe in it. Uh, we had a chance to tour the facility yesterday and the production and to look at a number of those products and uh, the potential for differences and changes in the way that electrical stimulation can be used. Uh, so I look forward to really the opportunity to explore other manufacturers of equipment besides those that are already available to us in the United States. I, I think that the world has become certainly in a way much smaller, more global. Uh, this is my second opportunity to present in Brazil, uh, my first opportunity to present at this Congress. Um, you know, I was very excited to be invited uh, because of knowing uh, some of the work by Dr. Focato uh, in the world of physical therapy, orthopedic physical therapy and um, to be asked by uh, James Ballou as well from the United States to participate. Uh, the speakers that were brought from the United States uh, again represent uh, a wide variety of interests from foot and ankle to knee to spine to uh, electrical modalities and uh, the opportunity to present not only with them but to present with our Brazilian counterparts and to be able to have dialogue like we just experienced in the Congress in, in terms of a round table that we had a chance to share ideas, um, I think is really a strong selling point for me to participate in, in meetings uh, like this. And I certainly welcome the opportunity and appreciate the opportunity to be invited to this program.